Hey, peeps, and welcome back to another episode here on the Season 5 Monarchy server. And also, very unfortunately, welcome back to another post credit uh, recap schwalb here because I have lost some audio for the first half of this footage and also an entire another episode that I have to recap. So that's that's fun. The pain, and uh, I guess it ascends, right? Because we're playing Art Survival Ascended and not <laughs> Survival Evolved. But uh, yeah, peeps, so I, I think I'm cursed because this is now another group quest that I have lost the ability to show you, peeps. First, it was the Alpha Wyvern quest. Now it's the Titanosaur quest. So yeah, the, the quest was to kill a Titanosaur while grappled to your Wyvern. So you had to use, you know, guns or crossbows while you were grappled to your Wyvern. The idea of the quest was it, it was going to be like chaotic fun. Like the Wyverns would be flying around everywhere. The Titanosaur would be running around everywhere and it was it would be just... You know, just this is this big chaotic mess. And what it turned into in reality was an hour of very boring shooting at a Titan because the Titan immediately shoved its face into a rock and proceeded to stay there for, like I said, an hour while we just lit it on fire, shot it with stone arrows, uh, shot it with bullets, you know, and eventually it died. So I guess it's, you know, it's kind of a bittersweet thing because, you know, it wouldn't have been very entertaining. We were just kind of chit chatting while shooting at this Titanosaur. And I think what cause the issue is that halfway through my mic was working fine and then the titanosaur killed me so hard that it completely restarted my computer which sucked in its own way because it corrupted that uh that footage so i guess either way it would have been a scuffed video but the byproduct of that restart was a obs deselected my microphone as the main audio source for my actual voice so for the entire rest of that video i had no voice in the video so people were responding to nothing and i didn't even notice for this entire recording i got very lucky that any of this video has audio because about at the halfway point i accidentally deleted all of the mic filters for my microphone and when I was redoing them, I noticed that the that the mic wasn't selected. So I reselected the mic. And, and also, peeps, that's going to be why the kind of latter half of this video has really not great mic quality. It's because I was still trying to mess with the filters because I didn't remember what my filter settings were. I've, I've screenshotted them now, but that didn't help me before, right? So hey, I'm sorry that the mic is going to sound kind of bad in the latter half. It should sound you know, perfectly normal now. Let me know if it does sound good. I think I've got all the settings right. So please, in the comments, let me know. Uh, if, if my mic sounds good right now, but yeah, peeps, so I'm going to stop yapping. Let's go ahead and get to this recap. So we started the episode with the goal of killing Gamma Manticore, as I'm sure you can see. We have our Faso army ready. You know, I spent all this time breeding these Fasos, leveling them up. I want to use them, right? So even though we have Wyverns, I wanted to use the Faso army to try and beat Gamma. So that we did. We went into the Gamma fight and, you know, it was standard Manticore on ground stuff, just stressing about if it'll land or not. And, and about halfway through, peeps, I did discover that if you position your army in between all of the pillars, that actually keeps the Manticore on the ground for longer than average because every time it landed while the army was outside of these pillars it would like take a few hits and then immediately fly into the air again but every time it landed while my army was in this you know in the center of all these pillars it stayed on the ground for a while so i mean that's a hot tip for you guys if that's not just a coincidence that happened for me and the fight went pretty textbook manticore fight it got a bit dicey at the end i'm not gonna lie when all of the rock golems started spawning we did end up losing three of our 15 fasola to the rock golems before they were able to eventually take down the gamma manticore which thankfully despawned all the rock elementals and all the death worms the death worms really weren't a threat it was just those rock elementals man that were they were putting in the work but yeah, we got our element reward. I think it was 57 element. You peeps will see on the screen right now. We got our flag. We got our head trophy. And we got, I think, some other cosmetics that I don't super care about. And we teleported back into the overworld. And I had to quickly log off after this. But I'll get back to that. And, and it will be important. I promise. So keep that in your mind that I had to log off soon. But before I logged off... Hobbs DM'd me on Discord while I was in the fight, telling me that she would trade her Lyster license for my Araneo, which I was so ecstatic about. Now, unfortunately, she had to get off before I got out of the boss fight, so she left her license in the mailbox of her base, so I flew on over, and and there it is, peeps. There it is, the Lyster license. I don't know what this note was about. I don't think that was addressed 
to me. So, you know, I left that note, but the the Lystro license finally in my possession. So I gave her the Araneo license and I was so happy and so grateful to her generosity here. Uh, I went back to my base, grabbed a Wyvern egg, grabbed a Rex egg, grabbed some Microraptor eggs, and I shoved those all into her mailbox just, just completely for free because I was so happy to get all of this stuff. And by all of this stuff, I mean just the one singular Lystro license, but I mean, you peeps know how much it means to me, right? So holy heck, we can now tame Lystros, and I will do that later in this episode, but let's quickly circle back to me needing to log out. So after I got back to base, I logged. I couldn't get on for the entirety of the next day, peeps. So let's let's look at the situation. There is now my very, very boss-worthy Faslo army on neutral on Green Obelisk. Very bad. Very, very bad. Because not only did K lose, I think, a Procoptodon and a Perlovia, Ross Clark also came over to do the boss himself with his own Faso army. And this is what he told me. He tabbed out of the game to start recording, right? And to get back into the game, he likes to right click. Unfortunately, he was riding his Uteranus, which does the fear roar when you right click. So he fear roared my army, which was again, still on neutral, fresh out of this boss fight. And they were basically all healed by now. So this, this was a full health Faso army that he had now aggroed and his Faso army was there as well. So he couldn't get them out of the way and it basically turned into just a massive cluster of pain for for him because our Faso armies just went at it. He tried to get away. Uh, I think I think by the time this episode goes up, his episode about it should be up. So go to his channel and, and, see, the, and see his pr perspective of the chaos. I haven't seen it yet, but from what he told me, it was awful. Only three or four of his Faso survived. Only one of mine survived and, and I feel so terrible peeps like i like when he told me that happened like my heart sank i felt so bad i dm'd him I, I was asking him if he wanted anything if he wanted the element from my fight and um and he didn't want any of that we we got into a vc and thankfully you know it's it's all it's all settled now but at the moment i think he was pretty upset he told me and i think you'll be able to see that in his video but uh yeah th so thankfully we're settled now ross is super kind he didn't want anything from me as as like payment right for the hassle but i just felt so so bad right because like what poor etiquette on my part and and just negligence to leave my army not only on the obelisk but on neutral like i don't know like and it just sucks because i'm a i'm a single player player right so usually when i do a boss I, I do the boss and I can leave my army there and it's no big deal because I'm the only player. So that combined with the fact that I had to log off and couldn't get on the next day, just, it, it was just, it's just bad people. So just massive L my, my fault. So yeah, I just feel terrible about that. And, and the L's kept coming, right? Because I woke up and Cap had given me a pink afro. It basically gave me Ross's haircut, but pink right so i just it's just not great so this is where i'm gonna go ahead and leave off the recap because the mic actually finally started you know working here and i think uh, i'm yeah i'm leaving you off on us going on a mission with kaya to, to to get revenge on cap so thank you all so much for watching this video and oh real quick before i go as of as of recording this we have hit 200,000 subscribers thank you all so much for finally getting us past that milestone we've been hovering there for so long and we finally passed it it's finally behind us you guys are just incredibly amazing 200,000 what a crazy number but yes all right i'm, I'm gonna stop yapping thank you all so much for watching and uh, i was gonna say i'll see you in the next one but the next one for you is right now so uh enjoy hey <laughs> bye bye there she is <laughs> oh no this is you to i've uh i've noticed i noticed your your beautiful paint job on your uteranus yeah i also woke up with the yellow hair oh no from a certain captain fat doc oh cap's been yes. cap's been getting people he has been yeah 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 so what is what is this revenge mission kaya on fire Oh, I, I, said, I reckon we go and get a bit of payback on him, isn't it? Like, can't be getting away with giving us a haircut now, can he? That's true, that's true. We should yeah. go over there. Yeah, we should go over there and paint his stuff and cut his hair back. Let's do I it. I think that's the only way. Yeah. That is, that is the yeah. way. Alright, uh, <laughs> I guess let's go over there.
You want to pair scissors first? <laughs> oh yeah, that'd be that'd be beautiful. Unfortunately, I don't have die on me, but uh, we can we can sort that out later. Yeah, duck duck is still here. This is her wyvern right here. She's still painting. <laughs> Where, where is she in here? Like, she's at, she's, she's at the top. She's at the top of this oh. cliff. Duck. Quack quack. Quack. Quack quack. Quack quack. Quack quack. Oh no, you got done dirty as well. Hello. We Hello. Kind of, we I brought with the same motivation. I brought backup. <laughs> Hi. You brought Ooh. backup for what? Do I need to be scared? No, to Mine, prank don't captain. Need to be scared. We are okay. on your side. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> My chat are calling out busted. No, they're here to help, chat. They're here yeah. to help. You're yep. busted by the right people. I was. I was. Oh, here, here, duck. Here, you can use these for now. This is the scissors. Oh, it's, oh, thank you. Courtesy I of Kai. Oh, yeah. Thank oh, you, you have you. unlocked them? Uh, yeah, yeah, I've unlocked them. Yeah, oh, yeah. Do you know nice. what I did today, just for the sake of trolling? Yeah. What? I spent 50 coins to unlock the spray painter. <laughs> oh! I, I might... I might... I might want to trade one of those with you. <laughs> 50 coins, Kaya! 50 yeah. coins! You could probably sell that to Kaya and Kay. I think Kay likes to paint as well. Yeah, Kay does. That's true. I could sell it to both of them. Take your money um, back. <laughs> my, my chat's asking, do you still have the shirt? The shirt? No, dude. Unfortunately, Krabby's paint oh. job washed oh. off the same day. Because oh. I think I, di oh. I died in a cave, and I think dying reset it. It does, yeah. yeah. The painting seems to be a bit dodgy. Uh, hoping this patch today fix it up. All right, so <laughs> how are um, we pranking? Have you painted them up? Have I, have I what? Sorry? Painted them up. No, I was flying around his house and I'm too scared to break anything in case his whole house crumbles. Oh, dear. It's the only problem with his base, isn't it? Yeah. Like, so everybody that I've done today, um, I don't know if I told you, Kaya, but I added in a redeem to my chat today. Did you? Whereby for 20,000 points, chat can choose a troll. <laughs> they, nice. get, they get to choose the monarch and then we discuss as a group. What we're gonna do? Oh, so, so like what are that. you doing to this poor kangaroo? Um, yeah. so we are painting him or her pink. We're giving him purple toenails, and we. Oh, beautiful, man! At the same time, we want to go and give haircuts, but I don't think I can break into uh, his house and unless the master here, Kaya. Yeah, it'd be easy. He's got have a Adobe, <laughs> so it's a pipe job. <laughs> yeah, if we all if we all hit the yeah. same thing with axes, we'll be through and like. Yeah, we just gotta get on there. <laughs> well, I got parachutes. Yeah. I always, I always have parachutes on me. Mm. I'm after well, that, I'm all waving on his roof and grappling yeah, down. That's and what I did. Yeah. yeah, there's a space on the under the cliff. You can land your wyvern and then jump across his bridge. His oh. dodgy bridge. <laughs> the dodgy bridge. All right, we better get cracking because there, there might be some spies coming on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna finish up this paint job and I'll meet you over there. All right. Good. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna okay. jump down. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh, nice. Perfect landing. Yeah. Skills on wheels. All right. Should we just break what? through the front door here? Or like through one of the yeah. side entrances? All right. You I ready? I do have side entrances we could drip into, but this might. Yeah. You could have got like a ladder and everything on this one. Yeah. Well, there's a, there's a whole staircase here. Oh yeah, sword does. Oh, oh, his style, his style, his style is neutral. His style is neutral. <laughs> it's it's okay. It's stuck. <laughs> just just keep hacking oh, away. Oh, it's, God, not stuck. It's, not, it's, it's not. It's not. It's not stuck. It's not stuck. It's not stuck. Oh, run, Kaya, run! I think. I think we're all right. I think we're all right. Hang on. Let uh, let me get it up. Oh, oh yes! <laughs> all right, I'll keep chopping away. <laughs> Kaya, are you out shopping? I am shopping for blood. Yeah, we're shop. We're shopping for violence. Here we are shopping for violence. <laughs> we're almost through. Yeah. All right, now wa watch Cap not even be in here. All right, here we are. Yeah. Oh gosh, imagine them. All right, let's see. This is so weird. Upside down house. Yeah. Sorry, we've got another staircase. He's here. Oh, He's there he is. There he is. Uh, yeah, 
this. Rip. There we go. Oh dang it! I I get I I I forgot to get my scissors back from Duck. <laughs> He's got scissors in his inventory. Look 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 look. Oh wonderful! He yeah, stole those way. from the sheriff's office. He stole them. See, we're putting justice in then, isn't it? Like. Yep. All right, I'm I'm gonna cut his hair. He cut my hair. It's only fair that I get his. Yeah, right. I've handcuffed him. Oh, no. <laughs> there we go. Oh, can All you right. get him? Yeah. Should I make him? Yeah. Should I get like what kind of hair should I give him? Should I make him just completely bald? Should we give him like a beautiful haircut? Make him stunning. Like I I trust your judgment. I know you'll do well. Oh yeah. well, yeah. first of all, double pigtails absolutely has to happen. Oh, he does look really good in pigtails. To be fair. What kind of <laughs> What kind of facial hair should I give him? <laughs> oh my gosh. Mm. He is a beautiful princess now. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. I All will right. match that with a stunning makeup look. Totally. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna leave a nice big sausage on his chest as well. <laughs> oh my gosh, I see his face. <laughs> And a nice little rocket on the back. There we go. Just a quickie. There we go. Yeah, I'm watching. I'm watching it happen in real time. <laughs> oh, have you got color for his hair? Hang on. Let me. Um, no, no, I don't. Yeah. Uh, let me juice you up. It's got to be pink, right? It's got to be pink. It's got to be. He's got to be a beautiful princess. Yeah. He's got to be a beautiful princess. The rocket princess. <laughs> the rocket princess. <laughs> your hair color pink. Hair tips yeah. pink. Holy moly. <laughs> Right on his chest. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that, that fits right across his broad, broad shoulders. The princess. <laughs> here, here, here. Um, uh, here's the scissors. If you want to like take a look at the hairstyle I gave him. Oh yeah, 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 Because yeah, yeah. it's like blonde for me for some reason. I think it's just the lighting though. Yeah, I think it's the light. Oh, I always do myself. Yeah, I always oh right click my. first. <laughs> 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 Great shot. That is atrocious. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. That is beautiful. Alright, you have the you have these uh back. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Alright, our job our job is done. Enjoy your sweet little nap, Captain Fat Dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go grab this cat now. <laughs> Alright, see it see it, Gaia. Alrighty, peeps. It is a new morning, and and interestingly enough, it's morning in Ark as well. Very interesting that that works out that way. But yes, peeps, we are going to be taming Lystros for the rest of this episode, specifically one Lystro, our Bob slash Bobette. And because I am so late into the series, we can now do this properly with the best type of taming food possible. So this Bob is going to be eating the good stuff or again Bobette and I guess uh where where are we gonna start the search peeps where are we going to start the search I just realized the chat still has the Ligma balls thing in it <laughs> oh who is this it is duck Alrighty, peeps, here we are at Green Obelisk keep your eyes peeled I see it yep right here this is it this is our this is going to be our Bobette oh or, or Bob <laughs> Oh, peeps. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yes, it's happening. It's finally happening. A wild male. It's gonna be a Bob level. Oh, 13%. Do Lystros not like extraordinary kibble? What? All right, well, I guess I'm gonna be picking Medjo Berries, but there we go. Bob. Oh, it is good to see you. And look at that, a very modest Bob. No crazy event colors. Well, I mean, it might. It, this might be a very, like, dark purple. I can't really tell because the sun isn't super out yet. But, oh, I'm excited. There was another one over here. Ooh, is this a sheep? Ooh, hello, sheep. Level 65. I, I'm going to kill that for its mud. But, yeah, there was another one right here. And this was a female. So, honestly, peeps, I'm going to go ahead and tame both of these Lystros. Oh, and there's babies. Ah! All right, I'm gonna tame the baby as well. Okay, let's uh, let's go ahead and quickly destroy this ant. I still hate ants with a passion, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and tame all of these Lystros because we need them for the uh, the Lystro Deodon quest. So the more, the merrier. And plus, peeps, I mean, this is Bob, his wife, and two children. I can't separate them, right? Oh no, Miss V is meshed. 
Oh, all right. Oh, I might have to go help Miss V, but uh, yeah, I'll bring you peeps back once Bob has been tamed. Oh man, my uh, I might be lagging a little as well. There's a sandstorm, but that's not gonna stop me, peeps. Yes, Bob. Yeah. Oh, not all caps. Bob has been tamed. Oh my gosh, and look how many other Lystro there's that, yeah, that there's over here that I'm taming up. We're gonna get this one right here, the Bobette, Bob's wife, and boom, Bobette. I know this kind of breaks the lore, right, that there can only be one Bob slash Bobette, but here's the Bob babies. Bob, Bob baby. <laughs> Bob baby number one, and Bob baby, Bob baby number two. Oh, that level five, dude. Bob baby number two. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. None of these Lystros are high levels, by the way. So this is going to be uh, just a little bit uh, tragic. Oh, come on, not the sleeping bag. Feed the Lystro. There we go. And then we have this one over here. And I think this one also has a baby over here. So we're, we've gone from zero Lystros to like eight Lystros. This is so weird. Usually I only ever get one Lystro per, uh, Per series, but we have a quest, right? We need to get as many Lystros as we can. And oh, this one's a level 20 at least, which is very nice. And it's also got two more babies. This is honestly amazing. All right, let's go ahead. We're gonna need to gather more berries to feed all these babies. And uh, I'm, gonna need to, I'm gonna need to bring all my cryopods over here to transport them to, to the base. Alrighty, peeps, please say hello to Bob and his extended family. So we've got Bob, and Bobette, and then we have Uncle Bobble and Auntie Barbara. <laughs> then we have the four children. We have uh, Bo Baby One, Bo Baby Two, Lil Bobbert, and and Tiny Bobber. <laughs> so this this is all of Bob's extended family, and it will only grow further as uh, as as the day progresses here, peeps. Because I have a feeling we're gonna need a whole heck of a lot of Lystros to take on these these Deodons, especially considering that none of these Lystros. <laughs> Are, are of good level. Auntie Barbara here is, is really the strongest one we have. So let's go ahead and, uh, and and I guess get to bringing them back home. I should have brought cryopods, but I'm going to be honest, I didn't expect to tame an entire family while I was out here. So uh, yeah, unforeseen circumstances and all that. And naturally, I grab the Morella tops. No, I want... I want one of the Lystros. I wish Lystros were shoulder pets. That would that would make my life so happy. All right, who are we gonna get? Hey, we got Bob first. Yes. All right, I was kind of hoping we would get Bob first, just in case like any any bad creatures spawn on the way back and and slay Bob's family. All right. Oh man, the chariot race. I wasn't able to participate in that. I think uh, I think I heard that Ross won. So you know, good for him. I I'm so sad I couldn't participate in that. But uh, it is what it is. Not all time schedules accommodate for all situations, so it's it's fine. Hopefully, I can participate in the parkour, though. I actually need to look at when that is, because this week is already coming to a close, peeps. These uh, yeah, these weeks go by so quickly. But yes, all right, I'm gonna stop rambling, and I'll see you, peeps, once we are ready to fight a day at on. Alrighty, peeps. So I have just found a uh, Deodon candidate here, a level 65, which I feel like is the best we are going to get for this mission. D I failed to grab that? How? And there, now I'm out of stamina. Man, I, I love sandstorms. They're so cool. But yeah, so if you peeps don't remember, we need at least a level 50. What are you doing, Wyvern? Land! <laughs> there you go. Yeah, we need at least a level 50 Deodon. And this one is... 65 so it's basically right there and I just I guess I just have to hope that it doesn't have good melee or health rolls there's no rules against trapping it though peeps so I'm gonna see if I can make a trap for it and then send the Lystro army after it and this might be pretty easy depending on how well the trap works, but uh, it might also go terribly, terribly wrong. I'm still waiting for some of the baby Lystros to grow up. I'm obviously not going to be including Bob in this fight because as you peeps know, there can only be one Bob. So if we lose Bob, then that's, that's it. And I'm not risking losing Bob in the exact same episode that we got Bob, right? So I'm gonna wait for this sandstorm to end. And uh, yeah, we're gonna carry him over to base and I'm gonna see if I can make a trap for it. Oh, bruh, sandstorm, or not sandstorm. Oh, dude, I might've gotten it first try. All right, come on. Let's 
see. That sucked. All right, so my idea with this is that the walls will be short enough that the Danon can't get out or attack, but the Lystros will be able to run in and nibble at it, right? Like, that's how I'm hoping this will work. Because, like, let's see, if I sit right here... Well, I don't know, it might be fleeing right now, but... Yeah, yeah, it can't bite me, right? So, I'm hoping the Lystros will be able to come in and just nibble at his ankles. Oh, dude, yeah, I think they can. But that means the Danon might be able to bite them as well. Oh, I don't know. All right, but here we go. Theodon has been trapped. Let's go ahead and I want to gate off this side as well because this is so low. The Theodon will probably be able to bite, but hopefully like right here. This will be the sweet spot where the Theodon can't really fight back at. All right. All right. We just need to wait for our baby Lystros to fully grow. They're almost there. And then we can bring our Lystro army over. This is what we have so far. We've got a whole heck of a lot of Lystro here, peeps. Like, look at all these Lystro. Let's go ahead and max out their melee. I don't really think leveling their health is going to be beneficial here. So I'm going to go all in on their melee and just hope that through their combined strength, they'll be able to take down this Deodon with hopefully no losses. If we have no losses, that would be... Amazing, and our trap works like flawlessly as intended. Hello, who's this? Hello, you didn't scare the crap out of me at all. Oh, <laughs> hi, Charlie. What are you doing? Hello, uh, I'm flying around doing stuff. I just decided to pick up the flare gun so I left in here from the event. Oh, yeah, I did see those the other and, day. Uh, yeah, uh. I don't quite know what I'm doing right now. I, said, I, did a, I did a grave for Deputy J. Boa, and now I'm kind of just flying around, and I realize I should have made a better plan for my stream. <laughs> <laughs> are you a, so are you, are you an outlaw now? Or did you get fired as a deputy? I'm like, I, I got fired, um, and I'm like Batman. Ah. <laughs> That's the best way of putting it. You're a vigilante now. I'm going after the, the wanted people, but I think some people are also going after me, so... Oh. All right, well, I'm I'm just looking for Lystros. Yeah, I don't have to worry about you, right? And I'm with, with, with mates, right? Yeah. Well, you did say at some point that you would shoot me in the head for killing you, but now you don't work for the law, so I, I don't know if you... Now, wait mm, a minute, Charlie. I, you got a point. Charlie. Oh my god! Oh my god! Charlie's loaded. Anyway, <laughs> technically not illegal anymore because she's not a deputy. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have said anything about that. I got too nervous about dying. <laughs> uh, no lysters over here anyway. <laughs> she can still hear me as well. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Good luck finding me. Good luck. <laughs> oh, amazing. <laughs> That's the first time I've murdered someone. Like, actually, like, j like, just straight up murdered them in this entire season. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's hope we can at least do our, our Lystro quest before she goes on the warpath. She has... She has much better gear than I do. <laughs> Yo, Charlie! Charlie, I, I just I just found a max level Lystro! Oh, that's great. That's great for you. Yeah. I'm stuck down more. Wonderful. We can't do nothing. Wonderful. Help. Oh Help. yeah. Oh yeah. I didn't I, I wasn't recording when you respawned, so ha my recording, Char me and Charlie have a weird glitch where for some reason we can hear each other. <laughs> wirelessly like we're not in discord this is just arc yep. being a flawless game oh exactly. also everyone in the comments of my video say hello to charlie's stream <laughs> say hi <laughs> my stream gonna say is anyone gonna say hi to charlie's, charlie's oh, wait, comments wait charlie shout out shout out your twitch Sh shout out your twitch for the video is this charlie's spirit on twitch charlie's yeah. spelt without an e <laughs> Oh. I keep I keep forgetting Ross's base is hostile with Plant X, so every time I fly over, I just get lit up by his plants. 
Oh, he still has that gun? No. Yeah, he's got like like all of his plan decks are hostile. I think he told me it was because someone yeah. kept landing in his base and like blowing all of his teams off with the wyvern flap. So he just enabled them all to attack players. Fair. But it's very annoying. Oh, if we die, you might fix the glitch and I won't, we won't have a conscious speaking. No. Oh, no. I, I, I'm, like, I'm genuinely like, wait, do I have a whip? Oh. I have a whip. Get out. Oh, no. Be gone. Be gone. Be gone, moth. Yes. Oh, dude, no, dude, no. There's a freaking raptor over here. Do not kill my Lystro. My max level Lystro. No, oh, I got an Explorer Note. Oh. <laughs> How have I never grabbed that Explorer Note? Oh, yeah. Oh, apparently. Lystro babies. Oh, What's max level Lystro. And, come on. Max level Lystro. It's got 307. Wow, that's actually a really good melee roll. 378%. <laughs> yes. Oh no, Charlie. Are you still there? You've gone quiet. Oh, we might have lost our psychic connection to Charlie, peeps. All right, well, that uh, is a little spooky. I, I guess at some point we're going to get ambushed by Charlie. <laughs> Hopefully I can do this quest first here. I'm not even gonna bother taking the level 20s. I just want these level 90 babies. There we go. Oh, Charlie found me. Yep. She's at a she's at she just landed over there, I think. Oh no. Ah, she has a scope and I don't as well. Alright, let's go ahead, put away some stuff. We're gonna have to chill inside base for a little bit. I'm at like gamma five, so everything is massively bright. Oh boy. Alright, let's go ahead and leave a rifle here. Ah, uh, yeah, you know what I should have done? I should have, like, made us a, a way to, like, see out. Right, because these, these windows kind of suck. All right, but I could do this. See if she's... Yeah, yeah, I can see her right there. She's right under the flappy small wing thing. I believe that's her. Just standing there. Yep, 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 she just crawled back. I'm going to take a shot at her. I don't even think the bullets reach that far, dude. She's a scope. She's got like every advantage over me being over there. I might have to go get her with the wyvern. Yeah, look, there she is. <laughs> oh, she's prone. I'm like, I'm like screwed. There's nothing I could do to get her. Yeah, dude, and the crosshair is too freaking thick to do anything. Like I have scopes, peeps. It's just, I can't put the scopes on this. Like, if I try to put a scope on the rifle, it just doesn't work. Works for the shotgun for some reason. <laughs> Here, I can do that. And uh, I've never actually... Oh, wow, that's weird. I don't know if I like that. I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna take that off. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's the one advantage the long neck has, is that it can actually use scopes. I think I just saw her. Oh, gosh dang it, dude. I want to say I just saw her fly over. Right, I'm going to take a risk here and run out and get on Thunderclap. I don't know. She definitely moved. I think I definitely saw her wyvern. Dude, I'm la of course I'm lagging now though, right? There. Yeah, she's on, she's on the Oasis Sword. I'm going to try and just land real quick and blow the wyvern off. Yep, there goes the there goes her wyvern. Oh, dude, that's a good spot for it. I wonder where she I wonder if she fell into Miss B's base. I don't know. Oh wait, wait what is this? <laughs> yeah, she must have fallen. I don't know where she is. Yeah, she's taking shots. Where is she? I can land up here. There she is. Oh, I missed her. Where is she? No way there's a sandstorm coming in. I don't know what to do here. I'm just going to fly up. Oh, dude, that's rough. What a time for a sandstorm. 
All right, the sandstorm is ending, thankfully. We didn't run out of stamina, which is nice. All right, let's 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 head on down. We need to grab water. All right, don't see, I don't think I see her, Wyvern. That might, that might have been it in Miss V's base. All right, let's go ahead and land. Yeah, she might be chilling in the base. Oh, dang it, dude. This would be a great time to strike, but I need water. Land up here. There she is. There she is. She's going for the drop. Oh my god! Hi, Charlie! Chop me down. Okay. Charlie, Charlie. I know you can hear me still, Charlie. Oh, you're all gillied up as well. <laughs> Ooh, I'm gonna take these handcuffs off of you. I don't think that's illegal. Let's see, Let's see. Oh, you've got a primitive Winchester. But you're using your ascendant long neck, of course, of course. Hi, Charlie's chat. Bye, Charlie's chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and a red drop as well. <laughs> and it's a red ring drop. <laughs> Do you want a truce? <laughs> oh, yes, veggie cakes, dude. Yes. Oh, and she said no. <laughs> Air, because that's her body. Where is she? Oh, she's whistling. I don't know where she is, though. Oh, there she is. I missed, dude. I missed that pick. Oh, sh I hope she didn't just aggro her wyvern on me. There's another sandstorm? It would, right? Got her. Drop me, please. <laughs> Charlie. I say again. Drop me. Do you yield? <laughs> Charlie. Oh, she died! What? How did she die? <laughs> How did she die? Was she like starving? <laughs> what? What? Gosh dang it. I almost didn't see her there for a second. <laughs> How did she die? My plan ruined. Gosh dang it. Oh, she just got on her wyvern, dude. She doesn't see me, though. Oh, she's gonna try and kill mine. Alright, fair enough. She's running. Yeah, she definitely sees me now. If I hide here? I don't know. She might try and come over here. We'll see. Yeah, she's on the rock. Let's switch back to actual bullets. Yeah, dude, her having the scope here gives her a massive advantage. All right, maybe should I should I put my ghillie away, like my ghillie hood away? Oh, I can probably peek over the wing here to hit her. She's crouching though. Yeah, dude, the it's just it's just the sucky thing is is that I don't have a scope, or I or I would be able to like take shots at her pretty easily. You would, dude. You absolutely would. All right, come on. Thank you up there on the wyvern on the wyvern oh man that of course the terror bird paths right to us i really want to knock her out i should have grabbed narco nades because if i can knock her out and get the handcuffs on her then then gg right oh, come on man i don't think she wants to whistle her wyvern on me because then you know then then that opens fair game for attacking the tames and then my lightning will just kill her poison. 
don't know what she's doing. I don't see her at all. We're kind of at a standoff here, but she's got all the advantages. Yeah, I see her now. I see her now. Yeah, she's crawled around that corner. Not much I can do here. Not much she can do to me either, though, thankfully. Here she comes. Here she... She's moving. Where is she moving to, though? I think. She's looking for me, for sure. She's not going to find me, though. Put the gun away. Yeah, if she tries to spyglass, she won't even be able to see me either. Because her name won't show up. She's landed again. She might try and come over here. I wonder. Right, we gotta not move here. She just oh. Oh, dang it. Got you. <laughs> Not for long. That's why you carry grapples. Yep. She's gonna try it. She's trying it. She missed though. She choked. She choked it. It's a pick fight now. Let's use the better picker. Give her a little bite. <laughs> Who's got the better stamina, though, is the question. Oh, I'm on her. I'm on her tail. Missed each other. Missed again. Oh, yeah, dude. This is a stamina fight. Interesting. She turns one way. I'm going to go to the left. Or to the right. Oh, dude. I feel like that was so close. I thought I got her there. I saw a red name. I thought I got her. Oh, what? My pick didn't even go in. She's running? I wonder why she's running. She must be low on stam. What? Bruh, the lag! No way! <laughs> That lag is crazy, dude. Oh, and that's my lag. I knew I should have made more parachutes. I knew I should have made more parachutes. Did, did you imagine? The freaking parachute's in the way. You have such good armor! No way my game just froze. Couple seconds. Ah! I can't see nothing. What's happening? Oh, dude, it's lagging so bad. Are you getting this too? Yeah. My game is like my game is like freezing as well. Okay, I guess it's over. Oh god. You have such I high armor, like Charlie. Have... People ask for it. <laughs> There's oh one easy way to deal with you. No. Put that away! Put that away, Charlie! <laughs> Come here, Charlie! <laughs> Come here! Put that away, Charlie! No, no, no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. The lag. Oh my god, I'm, all, I'm safe. Dude, yeah, she is so high armor. I hit her with two things that didn't get her. Oh my god, dude, the guns. I 
to my wyvern. I, I grappled to her wyvern, dude. Oh, here goes the lag again. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Got her! Yes! <laughs> I didn't even know if she was in front of me. I <laughs> just blasted. Almost, Charlie! Almost! I can't even I can't even access your body. There it is. What lag was that? Holy moly. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was some crazy lag. I can't believe I came out on top. Yeah, dude, I can't trank her out. I just cannot trank her out. She has way too good of armor. She took a she took a dart and a cattle prod. <laughs> oh, dang it, dude. She got her stuff back. I was gonna try and sneak over with a tapajara and uh and grab her. Or not grab her, but just land next to her stuff and look inconspicuous because I'm a tapajara. But uh that seems to not be how this is going to work anymore. She definitely saw me. She 100% saw me. Yep. That hurt. I didn't see where that came from either. Where is she? I've got to be blind, dude. Where is she? I've dropped her off at the very least, I think. Wait, what? There she is by that tree. It's Robbie, I'll kill this bird. Dang it, dude. All right, yeah, I need like a wyvern to blow her off or something. That ghillie is so good, man, at hiding. Like, I just can't beat her in, like, a direct one-on-one, -on -one, right? Because the ghillie is too strong. Oh, what a shot, dude! Now you're scared. I got him! I got him! <laughs> that was the snipe I was looking for! Let's go! Oh, I can't even be mad at that. Literally, I can't even be mad at that 50 second respawn. Out of the air. It, it would be to something like that though, right? <laughs> right there, there she is. <laughs> I don't know, it feels cheap killing her with the wyvern, but uh, like that's, uh, that's the only thing I could do, especially because she was on my body. She had all my stuff. Yeah, dude, she headshot me. That's crazy. I was wondering. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that mean? Oh, you're making sure I got my stuff back? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were trying to like camp my body. <laughs> I'm sorry, Charlie. I thought I was I thought I was being body camped. You're no dirty camper. I should have known that the great Charlie would not resort to such lows. Oh, I've brokered peace. Oh my gosh. That, that's the truce. We have we have a truce. <laughs> that was a crazy uh, headshot. You, oh, I got someone clipped it for me. I need to send. <laughs> Dude, I was turning. I was I was flying away, and I thought I was I was like I was like wait she if I'm looking away from her she'll be able to shoot me off the back of the type of jar. So I was like mm -hmm. mid turn around to fly like look towards you, and that's when you headshot me. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. I really didn't want to kill your tappy, so I was so happy with that. Yeah. That's what I was looking for. Yeah, the, the, the epic. Dude, how about that lag while we were trying to pick each other, though? Like, yeah, that was I, crazy. I had it again as well. I don't know if something to do with that area. Maybe the Oasisaur. Maybe we were, like, reloading in and out uh, Toasts and Miss V's Oasisaur or something. Oh, yeah, maybe. Um, but I have no clue. It's like, we are both getting it. It was awful, though. Like... Yeah, dude, on my screen, you like started flying away. So I was, I was like, I was like, I was like, oh, this is it. She's out of stamina. I'm going to get her. And then suddenly I warped back and you picked me. And I was like, what just happened? Yeah, you were just doing I was like, why are you just flying? Just chilling? <laughs> yeah. Waiting for something? Like, I can grab you. <laughs> yeah, dude, my plan. Oh, here, I did. I did take your handcuffs here. You can have those back. But uh, yeah, my plan. I got more pants, uh, pairs of those. 
Yeah, my plan was to just trank you out and then handcuff you oh. and force a draw that way. But you are so I tanky. I to the weather. Yeah, yeah, the one time I got you. And then after that, I hit you with a dart. And then I hit you with a cattle prod also, and you didn't go down. And I was like, I was like, oh my gosh. There you go. Let me join in the Cactus Club again. There we I go. I thought I'd come down to your level. Cactus yeah. Squad. Cactus Club. Here Charlie, you. have you seen my Deodon? My Deodon that I've trapped is actually over here. Yeah, it's right, it's right here. Oh. Yeah, so I'm going to walk all my Lystras here. My plan is that these are going to be too low for the Daedon to hit, but the Daedons, or my Lystros will be able to nibble his ankles through this bottom gap. Is that how that works? I, I don't know, yeah. truthfully. I don't, I don't want to poke it and then have your entire trap go boom. Yeah, uh. well, it's Adobe. Daedons can't break Adobe. Okay, that's good. Yeah, but I might have to oh. save this for the next episode <laughs> <laughs> because this this is going to be the outro, our little spat here now. <laughs> <laughs> Makes a good outfit. Yeah. yeah. Dude, the only way I could kill you was with the Wyvern Breath, because, like, your armor is just so good. Am that, I... Oh, God, that Wyvern Breath. Yeah, you it were, shreds you, were you. Cutting down on the armor quite quickly. Yeah, I saw you when you landed over on the mountain over there. Like, I saw your wooden fly over there, and I was trying to peek you. I took a shot at you, but, the, like, I was like, I was thinking, she has a scope. I can't put a scope on my rifle, so I'll never win that fight. But then I saw you fly to the Oasisaur, and, and then. The Oasisaur killed you, I guess? What happened there? I got, I, I got like, I landed on top of it because I thought you were still in your house. And, uh, I, like, I, so I landed on top of it with my wyvern. My wyvern fell into it and then I was inside of the mesh of the Oasisaur walking around like, on the inside. Oh no. And then all of a sudden I just got flung to the ground and died. <laughs> yeah, Oasisaur probably should have been put in the, in the development oven a little bit longer. All right, but yeah, Charlie, I'm at a. This actually kind of ended at a good time because I gotta go soon. So I'm gonna go ahead, <laughs> get Thunderclap home. Hope this Deodon doesn't despawn, and uh, I will see you at some other yeah, point. Yeah, I don't know if that's gonna stay around. Who knows? <laughs> Hopefully. Well, I mean, I guess, I guess I could do it real quick. Just bring the Lystros over. You wanna, you wanna, I'll just, you wanna I'll watch? Oh yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, I'll, push I'll go. I'll go get the Lystros. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're almost there. It's almost time to bring home the bacon. Get that bacon. Oh, no. Some of them are going around the other side of the rock. This way, guys. Not around the other side, you sillies. Oh, my gosh. I thought they improved the follow AI in this version. All right. You ready, Charlie? Yes. This Daedon's looking pretty scared. <laughs> all right. I want to get them all around. All right. Attack! Uh, uh, attack! Uh, attack! Yeah. <laughs> uh, attack! My attack button's not working. I don't think... oh. oh no. Oh. What happened? Did it not work? Yeah. All right, let me um Oh, there we oh. go. Oh no, they can't hit it! It's opposite. You've done the opposite. It can hit them, but they can't hit it. Alright. Oh gosh. Alright. Break um, it out. Break it out. Yeah, I gotta break it out. And bullet. Go, squad, go! Kill it! Kill it, everyone! Kill it! Let me just I'm just gonna fully break it out. Boom! Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it! Get it! I should've I should have I should have tamed a U Tyrannus to courage roar them! It's getting bloody. Come on. Dude. Healing, huh? Yeah, it's not even healing. Oh my god, please. It's going to run. It's going to run though. I got to get I got to get another bowl ready. Please don't run. Yes! <laughs> not a single casualty. You didn't care. Didn't care to heal or nothing. Yeah, I bowl at it. So maybe that like froze its no, AI. It should still heal. Maybe it's something to do with the trap. I don't know. It accepted its fate, though. Look at these good little guys. Oh my dude! Who got the? Who got the? Who got the kill? Who got the? Oh! XP? Oh, I don't know. I didn't. I didn't see. I wasn't paying attention. Yes. All right, Charlie. I will let you pick any of these Lystros to take home, except for Bo Beast. Oh. 
Hmm. I've got like I've got. It's like I'm looking at here. I'm like I like some of the colors of some of these, and then I was like, but one of them's named after me, and then one of them's named after my chat. And my, yeah, your chat, chat might. Appreciate it. Mm. Your chat might be pretty mad if uh, if you don't pick the chat one. Well, yeah. Let's go with let's go with chat. Because then I'm going to like put it in our hidden base and uh, we'll just leave it there. And right. if anyone asks, um, there you go. it was the chat. Charlie's chat. <laughs> Charlie's chat, come in, buddy. Might be, it might be stuck. Oh, no. Nope. Nah, it's free. It's free. Oh, how am I going to get this loop? You, oh, oh, you, no. you can carry it with a wyvern. I know, but it's like getting it. Uh, it's fine. <laughs> Getting in the hi the hidey spot. Well, it, it should be fine. I can just leave it outside like the wife. <laughs> yeah. All right, Charlie. Do you do you wanna do you wanna help me with my with my outro? Uh, how how would I how would I help with that? All right, just just wave and say bye bye. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can do that. Let me get the the wave going. There you go. Getting that that like that. Yep. Just like that. It was a good practice run. Okay. Bye-bye. Oh, I didn't wave. No. Gotta wave <laughs> while you say it, Charlie. <laughs> Why would it wave now? It broke it. Your arm is too tired now. Yeah, that that's it. That's you know what? We're going we're going for the full this. Bye-bye. Whoa. Styling. Alright. There you go. <laughs> there we go. Alright. That's it. That's it right yep. there. That'll do. That that'll do. That'll do, Dayadon. That'll do. Can you stand on the ball? Oh, look at that. It's like a sushi roll with like, I'm, I'm like the fish on top of the roll. <laughs> <laughs> you calling yourself a sushi roll? 